Today we're talking about the coup. That's right, the coup with the with the P at the end, not the baby sound. But we got the coup. Was the left already cued? Who's getting cued today? We got the left secretly preps for mega violence after election day. Well, that's a doomsday scenario. The progressive coalition fight back table, fight back table. That's a these names of these things. We're gonna run out of names eventually. Has been meeting to game out what happens if Joe Biden doesn't win by a landslide. It's not pretty, says Sam Stein. Last week, a coalition of leading progressive groups called Fight Back Table gathered on Zoom to begin organizing for what they envision as the post-election day political apocalypse scenario. <laughs> Put together by the Fight Back Table, an initiative launched after the 2016 election to get a constellation, ooh, these words, a constellation of lefty organizations to work more closely together. The meeting dealt with the operational demands expected if the November election ends without a clear outcome or with the Joe Biden win that Donald Trump refuses to recognize. Jefferson's. We are in America, we drink Jefferson's. Sources familiar with the discussions describe them as serious with a modestly panicked undertone. <laughs> I, I can't take much, much of this serious. I know it is a very serious topic. This really is potentially happening. And I've seen lots of articles. This is just one article. I'll link it. But there's many articles that talk about this. A smaller fight back table session last fall had talked about post-election planning, but those discussions were tabled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We can't meet on Zoom. What are you guys talking about? We're going to catch a virus, a computer virus. This is the first time they were bringing the matter to the 50-plus organizations that make up the coalition. Sides are being drawn. They're being formed. To formalize the effort, they gave it a name. The Democracy Defense Nerve Center. Man, <laughs> these these names. What was wrong with fight back table? Why why do you gotta have like a head organization and then this has got that? What's got that? You guys are just like Hydra. You're just like the GI Joe bad guy, Cobra. Wait, is it what was the bad guys in GI Joe? I'm confusing those with the ones from Avengers. I don't know. Over the course of two hours, participants broached the question of what the progressive political ecosystem can functionally do in a series of election scenarios. They began charting out what it would take to stand up to a multi-state communications arm to fight disinformation, a training program for nonviolent civil disobedience, and the underpinnings of what one official describes as mass public unrest. And they poured over a report from the Transition Integrity Project, a bipartisan group formed in 2019 that analyzed various election season scenarios and made clear the type of rat fuckery, corruption, and chaos that was potentially ahead. Rat fuckery. I'm going to search Google for rat fuckery. I don't know if that's in a... Yeah, I'm not seeing this in the dictionary anywhere. Oh, but we got someone on Facebook saying Steve Bannon is up to his usual rat fuckery. <laughs> mm. The potential for violent conflict is high. What if Trump won't leave the house? Plausible, says Matt Lewis. Some of the hurdles were straightforward. How you occupy shit, hold space, and shut things down. Not just on election day, but for weeks. Explained one source familiar with the Democracy Defense Nerve Center operations. Others are more complicated. Like what quick transportation options can be in place should poll locations mysteriously close. Others have been simply impossible to plan out. I don't know what this. What are people really talking? Occupy shit. Who is who is organizing this? Who is using these words? I don't know what the strategy is when armed right wing militia dudes show up in polling places. The same source said this Kyle Rittenhouse guy is being lionized on the right right now. If it is being unleashed that you can shoot people and be a hero, I don't know what preparations we can possibly do for that. I. I, it's literally the most bat shit cra I'm gonna use bat fuckery. It's bat shit fucking crazy that people can't understand context. No, you can't just shoot people and be a hero. 
No. And you know, there's a lot of people who think what he did, what Kyle Rittenhouse did was in self-defense that don't necessarily think he's a hero. But also, what he did is not just go shoot people. Way to just dumb it down for your point. Those involved in the conversation say this wide array of groups have never coordinated so closely in this matters before, and the fact that they are sitting down some two months in advance of the election was a testament to how seriously they take the complications and threats Election Day poses. Uh, and or, you know, just as a testament to how seriously they're being funded by globalists. It is very obvious that Trump is laying the groundwork for claiming victory no matter what, says Rana Epting, executive director of Move On and a participant in the FBI fight back table call. Which, you know, this again is them blaming the other side for doing exactly what they are doing. Biden and these people are saying that they're winning by a landslide. Biden is, they're faking these polls saying that everybody loves Biden. Like, I can't find a rational person in the world right now who would be like, yeah, Biden seems like the right choice. Progressive groups at the end of the day believe in our democracy, and while it is not perfect, believe in building upon it and strengthening it. Yeah, blah, 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 don't give a fuck. Who's this? Who's this chick? I don't know who this chick is. My fear, she said, is we are still behind the eight ball. My fear is that you guys have all taken an eight ball and you're all so fucking coked out that you're like, you know what I'm gonna do, man? We gotta, we're gonna, we're gonna get our lives together, man. You know, tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna start working and changing. You ever, you ever hear people talk who are on coke? They are so obnoxious. <laughs> all they do is talk about how they're gonna fix their lives and how they're gonna get their shit together, and then they wake up the next day at like 8 p.m. And they don't do shit. Don't do coke. Alright, so we're moving on. That that exists. But we also have... We got a book from Bob Woodward, which exposes General James Mattis in a plot to overthrow the U.S. government? Who's Bob Woodward? Wait, we know him. Bob Woodward just recently had those tapes released where he made Trump look bad. So the guy... Now, this could all be 4D chess, of course. But the guy who made Trump look bad wrote a book where he had this quote from General James Mattis who, called, who compared Trump to a Nazi. And in the quote in Bob Woodward's book, he says... Let's find this one right here. Here we go. Uh, in the new book on the Trump administration titled Rage, Woodward reveals the inner machinations, machinations and grumblings of former White House officials like James Mattis and ex-director of National Intelligence Dan Coats. According to the book, which was widely ex excerpted by the Post on Wednesday, Mattis was particularly concerned about Trump's leadership in 2017 during a standoff with North Korea over its missile tests. Mattis quietly went to the Washington National Cathedral, this is an excerpt from the book, to pray about his concern for the nation's fate under Trump's command, and according to Woodward, told Coates, There may come a time when we have to take collective action. Since Trump is dangerous, he's unfit. In a separate conversation recounted by Woodward, Mattis told Coates, The president has no moral compass. To which the director of national intelligence replied, True. To him, a lie is not a lie. It's just what he thinks. He doesn't know the difference between the truth and a lie. I'm assuming that's what Dan Coates sounds like. So yeah, in this book, we just, you know, casually spitball in a presidential coup at church. So we're talking about Mattis... This general, who doesn't like Trump, compared him to a Nazi, talking to a former, uh, what is that guy, former National Intelligence, Dan Coates, the director of National De Intelligence, that, hey, we might need to take collective, a collective action. Like, this is the hand, this is the strength that I see behind the Republican Party right now. And this is the strength that I see behind the Democrat Party right now. It is conniving. It can't even really make a real fist. It's just, it's not even, here we go. There you go. That's what I think about the Democrats. Just because right now they're being ridiculous. 
You gonna try to throw a coup? Is there really gonna be a coup? You guys think there's a coup? China, a country who puts millions into concentration camps and harvests their organs, highly appreciated outgoing U.S. Defense Chief James Mattis. Proves that Mad Dog Mattis had been a bad choice as DOD, Director of Defense. Yeah, so China likes Mattis. And we love China, right? Between 2013 and 2016, James Mattis was on the board of Therano, a healthcare tech startup that provided fraudulent blood testing that swindled $10 billion from investors. The now defunct Therano founder and CEO Elizabeth Holmes has been indicted with 11 counts. You can watch this movie, I'm pretty sure, on Hulu. There's a documentary all about this chick and how she was trying, she was dressing up like Steve Jobs and was just bullshit artisting her way to just taking more money, more money, more money from a fake product. Well, did you know James Mattis was on the board? How about that? Has the CCP got Mad Dog's PP tapes? Uh oh. Oh, right, here he is taking what? Another retired general slams Trump. Stink Tank Brookings President John Allen warns of dissent into liberalism. I illiberalism. Illiberalism. No. Yes, that's what that says. Illiberalism. I I kind of like you know when things get a little too liberal maybe we need a little illiberalism i never heard that term before trillions of dollars have been pissed away in third world hell holes had they had these generals ever won a war before yeah these generals fight these wars but they don't ever win them they fight these conflicts and these situations that are unwinnable they get into them on purpose it seems like trump called them out for doing this and then all these hit pieces coming out about trump shitting on the military there might have been a little timeline fuck up there but mark miley Milley rebukes Trump, tells troops to uphold the Constitution. And we have some shit for us in November. What do you guys think? You think Mad General Mad Dog Mattis is going to lead a, lead a paramilitary coup against the United States? Are we really going to have this stupid civil war? Is that really going to happen? Alright, I'll tell you this though. If it does happen, it could happen. But if it does... Consider that it, not everybody could be affected directly. It might not come for you. It might not come for your town. It might. could be shitty. But these things are not... You don't need to fear about them like the end of the world. It could be dealt with in a matter of weeks, months, days even. Honestly, the way I see it, optimistically speaking, is that the, the Patriots or whoever recruited Trump this is just one theory because there's also the theory I keep on the table that it's all a show and it's all just designed for globalists to take over the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that theory's out there. Now, here's the optimistic theory. Is that whoever recruited Trump, the patriots, the patriots in the military, the veterans, who didn't want to keep going to war endlessly, the people who, like, would have supported JFK, not the people who had him killed, that would be the other side because we still don't know. You know, I'm assuming that every conspiracy theory since JFK was probably linked to that. It was probably the same conspiracy theory. The fact that they came up with the term conspiracy theorist after JFK to discredit it kind of makes it, you know, makes it a little more believable. So anyways, the optimistic theory is is that those guys, they have some technology, they have some device, they have some brains, some really s smart people, autistic people, I don't know what it is, but they know what's going on in... In the world, they know they have the Patriot Act. They can check everyone's information, their all their data, all the messages. They know, they know the plan, and so because they know the plan, they're going to be able to counteract the plan. And so I think that in November, if anyone tries to throw a coup against the United States, against Donald Trump or whatever, they're just going to be the hammer will drop, and then all of these bad actors, all of the cabal, all that shit, if they, if they expose themselves, if they step into the light. They're going to get burned. Now, that's my theory. It's just one of many. I keep lots of tabs open in, in my brain for possible theories. But let me know what you think about the coup and whether or not the coup will happen. Will we be able... Like, how, how much does Trump have to win by? How, how big of a landslide does it have to be before it's not even remotely considerable that there would be a coup? You know, like... But, how, like, before it's not even, that you can't even contest it. It's just, like, everybody's, like, obviously Trump won. I'm already at that stage. 
I'm still gonna go vote, but I don't know. If you support independent investigative journalism like this, you can check out the description. Support me on Patreon or whatever. And then, uh, if you like uh, telling me about how wrong I am and how everything's a psyop and it's all fucked, you can just type that away in the comments and I'll definitely read it. I might not agree with you, but I will not censor any comments unless you're really fucking crazy and talking about some crazy shit, like hurting people. So yeah, everybody be a good person. Take everything you hear with a grain of salt, especially this type of news. Stay vigilant. Call your mom. Peace.